So I have a question for you. Is there a chance that you have been considering or at least pondering the thought of investing in a franchise? The reason I ask you that question is because 16 and a half years ago, I was considering the same opportunity. I looked at some of the big names in this world of franchising. And as I look back, I'm really, really glad that I did not invest into a franchise to where somebody else is making the rules, to where I've got to come up with this ridiculous investment up front and for some other reasons. So as a result, 16 and a half years ago, I did not go the franchise route. But let me tell you what I did do. 16 and a half years ago, I entered this world of real estate investing and it has transformed over these years, my wife's and my lifestyle, our level of wealth, our level of freedom. And so I just wanna share with you the idea for you to think about instead of going down the franchise route, how about going down a path to where you actually create your own future with much less risk and consider this world of real estate investing. Well, who am I and why in the world should you listen to me? Well, my name is Jay Connor and my wife, Carol Joy and I live here in Eastern North Carolina and we've been investing in real estate. As I said, 16 and a half years ago is when we started. We're in a small market. There's only 40,000 people in this market. And in this small market, we do only about two to three transactions a month. But our average profits are $67,000 per transaction. And when it comes to time commitment, my lands, it's nothing near the time commitment of looking at a franchise. So in just a moment, Right below this video where you're watching, there's a button that you're going to see that will give you free, that's right, free 30-day access to my new membership site that will give you all kinds of free information about how you can be a real estate investor, creating your own future, creating your own time that you want, and having the freedom that you want. And if I can do it in a small market of only 40,000 people, netting over $2 million a year and working literally less than 10 hours per week than you can too. So when we think about franchising, there's really, I've identified 10 reasons in my research as to why you may not want to go down the franchise route, but seriously consider coming down the real estate investing route. First of all, I want to say this, you know, the two most important questions and most popular questions that I hear as I travel the nation, and that is from potential real estate investors, they say, Jay, where do we find the deals? And secondly, how do we fund the deals? Well, when it comes to funding, I became known back in 2011 as the private money authority. So I'm able to plug you and other people in just like I have plugged myself into funding that doesn't rely on anything about banks or mortgage companies. You never use your own cash. We don't use hard money lenders. We use what's called private money. So that's the funding piece that you'll learn about with your free access in the membership site. Secondly, I get asked, how do we find the deal? So finding deals and funding deals are the most important or most popular questions. And in the membership site where you'll have free access, we also talk about how to find the really hot motivated sellers that are offline. They're not in the multiple listing service. And so we cover that as well for you. So what are the top 10 reasons as to why franchising may not be the route for you to go? First of all, risky investment. Now, when I say risky investment, I'm talking about a huge investment in this world of franchising that you got to put up. In this world of real estate investing, we're talking about a fraction of the amount of money that you would have to put up in the world of real estate to start. Secondly, sticking to the rules. As I mentioned a moment ago, when you are plugging into a franchise, then you gotta follow their rules. But guess what? In this world of real estate investing, and I'm talking family house, single family houses, we also talk about commercial, small apartments and et cetera but primarily single family houses. Guess what? We get to make our own rules when it comes to owning our own business. Thirdly, minimum net worth. 
So every franchise out there is going to require for you to have a minimum net worth. In this world of real estate investing, I have got people working with me that have got zero net worth when they started out. And within six months, they had a net worth of over a half a million dollars. So the net worth requirement upfront is not in this world of real estate investing. Next, number four, big time commitment. Oh my lands, when it comes to being an owner operator that's required in many of the franchises, you gotta be there the 60 hours a week, the 70 hours a week. Here in my world, I'm talking about running this seven figure net income company and business in less than 10 hours per week. Now you won't start out that way. You will start out with about 10 to 15 to 20 hours per week, but very quickly, you can get it down even less than that. Number five, and that's called the high startup cost. When you're investing in a franchise, there's always high startup cost. Have you thought about, or have you read how much startup costs would be involved for you to begin in the franchise world? The startup cost here in this world is a fraction of what you'll find in the franchises. Complicated exit strategies. When you invest in a franchise, it's like once you get in there, how do you get out? In this world of real estate investing, if you get tired of it or you, know, you're, you don't want to do it anymore, then guess what? You're not married to it. You can exit with no cost at any time that you want to. Expensive payroll. There's always high payroll at the franchises. Here in this world, we're talking the help that we get is by virtual assistance and we pay them by the minute. For example, our advertising we do there on Craigslist costs me a whopping $29 every week to get my Craigslist ads put up. So you don't have that expensive W-2 overhead. And then, as I mentioned, the upfront franchise fee. Always there's a huge upfront franchise fee. And then when it comes to investing in a franchise, you've always got this long approval process. Guess what? In this world of real estate investing, the way I do it, you are the only person on the approval committee. It's you that decides whether you're going to enter into this world of real estate investing or not. And then finally, in addition to that, I'm talking about the work and life balance. As I alluded to a moment ago, in the world of franchising and you're an owner operator, you're going to be there the 50 and 60 plus hours per week. In this world, you will quickly learn how to run the business. You're running it. It's not running you in less than 10 hours per week. So if any of that sounds remotely interested to you, then just click the button right here below for your free 30 day access to the membership site. And you'll be on your way to financial freedom, wealth, and getting the lifestyle that you want. I'm Jay Connor, the private money authority, and I'll see you right here in the membership site on the inside. See you in there.